Yes, my people, I greet you all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I call it to your time. Yes, I don't come again. Come again, not the killers. Now, up, up. This is how they go. My people, they see they see people when they talk truth, they will talk as it be. As this life still be so, I will live with an make and see this man the way it explain everything when it happened during the time of presidential election till now. The way the guy did it, told the truth, they come. And before I leave you, make you watch her. Try, make you share this video. Leave your comment for the comment section. Like it so that Facebook will recommend it to other people to see too. Don't forget, say we have national actor or this platform. Now be laba broom, bro laba. My people, now be this old. Not all. Who read the election? No, no, they read the election. Those who didn't allow the people's will to prevail, they know it. Those who have heated up the policy, they know it in their heart of hearts. And the wonderful thing is that God Himself knows them. I'm just wondering, is the election over? I'm saying this because. According to, uh, according to the electoral law, the elections are not over until it is over. And there are cases in court that has not been disposed with. That is why we are in an anomalous situation. We have a declared president-elect whose election is being challenged and the courts are handling it. I think I am entitled to, to take the position that I'm still waiting for the courts to tell me who won the election. That is why I say we are in an anomalous situation. And I'm one of those who have been saying it doesn't make much sense to be, to be swearing in people when they are still in court. I know it has happened with governors. And, uh, but it is, the outcome has really not been the best of all cases. And I think we ought to review our election process so as to make sure that we do have a winner who will be sworn in and whom everybody will rally around. Uh, it is still, uh, uh, I cannot understand. I am not a legal man, I'm not a judge. It's a pity that it's taking so long for the, for the courts, courts to make up their minds on this matter. Therefore, my, prob my, feel my, my problem now is that the whole system of our election needs to be properly reviewed so, so that it should, it should be easier to, for, for winners to emerge according to the wishes of the people. And here, therefore, um, and, and, and I, even, I even have very basic questions. We must, do we really want democracy? From what we are seeing from political actors, it, it seems many of them are not really interested in democracy. They want power, by all means, by all means. Now, this is an issue we must, this, we must agree. Do you know, for, we know that for 30 years, this country was ruled by people who held guns, not by democracy. We were forced to, to obey everybody. And they became our president, one after the other. But we, had, we agreed at that time that that was not the way for Nigeria to move. If we don't want it with people carrying guns, well, I don't think we should be accepting it with people who can just manipulate, manipulate the system and, and frustrate the wishes of the people. Your Eminence, if I can... Because they have resources. Those who read the election, no, no, they read the election. Those who didn't allow the people's will to prevail, they know it. Those who have heated up the policy, they know it in their heart of hearts. And the wonderful thing is that God himself knows them. We may not know. Even the courts may not know. But God knows them, and they know themselves. So, if we, the more we mention God, the more we should be on, a, uh, we should, we should be, uh, we should be on guard, not to be found to be using the name of God in vain. There are countries who don't want to mention God, but they affairs well. But if we decide to keep mentioning God, we must run our affairs according to God's will. Otherwise, we give, we end up giving God a bad name. God forbid. Now, uh, as I'm now talking as a cardinal. Uh, just ask my, uh, my fellow countrymen. We should not apo apologize for the fact that we keep God constantly in our prayers and in our national life. We can't throw God away. But that means 
we must run our affairs and live our lives according to God's will, and we cannot pretend we don't know. We've had a, a house of Ladima ruling us for eight years. We still have a lot of poverty in the north. So we, we should not allow ourselves to be, to be, to be uh, bamboozled with all this political discussion. And we religious leaders have the duty to continue to put forward the positive element of our faith. I am a Catholic, I am a cardinal, and I, am very, I have no, no apologies about who I am, what I believe, because I believe that what I, my, my faith teaches me helps me to live a good life, not just as a Christian, but as a human being and a citizen. This should be seen in all, other, in all religions and by all religious leaders. If Christians were... Yes, as an adult watcher now, we now see how the matter talk everything when they happen, and they talk truth. My people, the only thing you will do to help Nigeria to move forward is for you to share this video, like it, leave your comment for the comment section, so that other people will see the same way you see. Now the news when they for today, now be this, you know, do well.